Hey guys, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It, and I'm here with these adorable wood slice ornaments. But the bad news is, I had recorded multiple videos on my phone showing you how to make these, and my three year old deleted the first video off my phone. My three year old's adorable, cute, but sometimes she's a little bit sassy and she deletes things, but it's okay. We got this. I've been over here like, no, why me? What am I gonna do? But it's okay. All you missed is me painting the wood slices. I painted two white too black so let's jump right in that's all you missed was me painting them and them drying okay so I have these paint pins that we can use so I will link them um, in the blog post and so to find that just look at the description and you'll see a link to the blog post and I will link all these materials first you just shake the paint pin if you're gonna use a paint pin shake it now I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put the word joy on this ornament shake it Sometimes you have to like kind of dab it to get the paint to start coming out. Let's see. Okay, there, it started coming out. So I wouldn't do that, the dabbing part on, um, on your actual ornament. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it real tall and skinny. I'm gonna do a J. For the last one, I'm going to actually put this stamp on there. This is a stamp I got at Michael's. Super cheap. It was part of a set. Um, but you could find something similar at any craft store. Okay, so I have my baker's twine that I got at Michael's. Sometimes they sell out, so I will put a link for some of the um, similar stuff from Amazon. So I'm gonna take a long piece, I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna do it kind of like a luggage tag. And so you're gonna take the little loop, the folded in half part, and you're gonna stick it through the back. If I can get it to come through. And you're gonna pull it from the front, like that. And then you're gonna take the ends from the back, stick them through, pull up. And then you're gonna go up and leave a long enough little hanger and tie it a knot. So just leave it enough to, that you could hang it from something. Whether you want it to be like on your Christmas tree, on a doorknob, on a hook. And then I'm gonna cut the extra. So I do it this way so that it hangs straighter. If you just stick it through the loop and around, it's gonna kind of make it hang sideways. So if you do it this way, it will hang straight when it's on a tree limb. So there you go like that. I'm gonna do it again for the joy. Okay, so now that I have these two ornaments with the hangers on them, you can leave them as is. Or I have all these different ribbons that you could use. I have black and red buffalo check. I have a uh, red and white buffalo check. I have all, I mean, I have this big, thicker, if I can get it, black and white one that has like these little loops on the side. I've already made two little bows out of the red and white buffalo check. And I'm just going to hot glue them onto the very top right where the thread is. So you'll see I'm gonna put a blob up here at the top. Hot glue. And then I'm going to just attach it. And I'm going to use this toothpick I have over here from something else to kind of get the extra glue away before it hardens. 
Hold it on there while it's drying. It really coordinates with the little red and white baker's twine. So there's that one. Put a little dot up there on this one. And voila! Like I said, go ahead and check the link in the description below for the blog tutorial link and that way you can find all of the supplies there. If you like this craft, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye guys!